Dad Who Draws. Hi, my name is Kurt Asplund, and this is my studio. Well, today I'm going to show you how to draw a raccoon. What's interesting is we've got his head going in one direction and his body facing another. That creates contrast and it's really interesting for the eye. Come on, let's get to drawing. All right, first thing we want to do is start off with a large circular shape for his head and it's kind of slightly sl slightly flat on the bottom because this raccoon is short and stocky. And we're going to angle the uh, left hand side a little bit and kind of keep the right hand side lined up. Let's draw a quick line across the top of his head to kind of establish where his eyes are going to go and then a nose. So with this raccoon, we have him looking off to his right. And I'm just lightly putting in some uh, shapes here to establish the uh, color pattern behind his eyes. A little smile. Feel free to pause the video at any point of course, this is all just an underdrawing, and we're trying to keep it really light here. Adding a uh, couple ears on top there. And now I'm going to draw a center line for the body, so I really make sure everything's lined up. We are going to have a nice apple shape. And a little trick that I've learned a while ago was to um, draw the hands first before the arms and then uh, you draw the arms to the hands. That that puts everything uh, where I feel it belongs. It's, it's easier to line things up that way. Okay, his uh, one of his hind feet and his other foot tucking in from the uh, right hand side there. And we'll get his big bushy tail. So this is a great time to, to pause the video and uh, make sure you have your line drawing in place and it's drawn lightly. So we're gonna come back in in just a second with uh, a darker Whoa. line. Hey, if you're liking this video, go down there and give me a thumbs up. You got this. So I'm going to start with his nose. And for the highlight, I'm going to put it toward the top of his nose. This suggests that the sun is where the light is coming from on top. Got a little uh, slight dip in the uh, top of his head. Now I'm just going to indicate some lines to say fur on the side. It's it's not a straight line. It's it's more of a fur. You can always refer to the drawings on the left hand side. And if you haven't already, it would be a great help if you gave me a thumbs up on this video. It really helps YouTube to share the video to a larger audience and I would greatly appreciate it. So let's get our apple in here with a little bit of a stem and a leaf. to uh, get his hands in here and I like to draw his fingers first so they get a sense that they're wrapping around the apple. Get the bottom part there and like I said before I like a lot of times like to put the hands in and then bring in the arms to him so 
the one thing on the arm there, I've made the top more of a curve versus the bottom being straight. And once again, this just adds contrast to our image. Well, it looks like we passed the uh, five minute mark. So I would uh, pause the video here if you haven't finished drawing in your dark lines. Refer to the drawing on the left hand side. And then you can even see how I colored mine.